Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. Good to be back after a week away. And uh, this is what we're going to be looking at here. See this pattern that I always talk about, the Chapman Wave inside track repellent, propellant zone? I just draw, I, I draw a trend line and then a parallel trend line, very thin one. This is different to, uh, it's a channel, but this is a very narrow channel. I'd call it inside track. And we went above it, and we touched on it uh, in the Dow on the 19th of July. We went to 31,842, and then the next day there was a doji candle above it and touched the upper, the green part. And then we went below it on, uh, that was Thursday, closed nicely above it, and then Friday went even higher. And now you can see it's become a support line. A couple of things that we're looking at. When you're looking at the weekly chart, you see these big moves up that fail. I, let me just show you this. We've got a lot of new subscribers, not a lot of new people that are here at TFNN. So let me just show you. In the Chapman Wave methodology, I like to look at very simple patterns. Straight line up, straight line down. That's one. A cup formation, that's two. And an arch formation, that's three. You can get a mix. If you get a straight line down and then a rally, and that rally is a small rally, and it fails at about a peak A or a B, that's the first or the second uh, peak, and then it turns around and takes out that left side low, that's really negative. That could be that could mean that you have a one-to-one -one of the arch formation to the base, to the downside. If within two to three bars, it doesn't close nicely above that left side uh, low. The same applies in the inverse, the green, the reverse Y, upside down dreaded H. I call that a dreaded H. This is an upside down Y. Um, or reverse Y, because if it takes out the left side high, it can go quite a bit higher. So you'll see these three patterns all the time. Every single chart is made up of one of these. It could also be, in, instead of a cup, it could be an arch, but you're going from one level down and then back to retest that high or one level up, and then you're coming back to test that level. Very simple, inverse inversion of a V or a V-shaped pattern. All right, so what do we do? In the weekly chart, we went to peak A at about uh, 35,824, uh, back in, I think it was maybe uh, February. And then it comes down sharply, and it goes to peak A, and then a B, and then it fails back. It was like April the 1st or so, and then it comes tumbling down. Then we went to a peak A minus because it failed then came down to this last low on the 17th of June at 29.653. However, what we've done this time is we've gone to a leg B. It hasn't been as strong as the move from 32,272 uh, back in uh, earlier this year to the high that was made uh, April, April the 22nd, the week of the 22nd at 35,492. But... The difference is that for this particular moment, you've got the the pink nine period exponential moving average actually starting to improve the histogram of the Dow. Well, this is the first hour of not even an hour of the week. We can't talk about that, but it has gone positive for the first time. Positive for the first time since it briefly went higher back in 2022 when it made the all time high of 36,952. You can see when you put this whole put party of, of, of technicals and everything together, patterns, so far, this is a very nice rally. It's not great at all. It doesn't give you the information that says, hoo, 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 2022, we're going to an all-time high. All it says is you're in a buy mode in the daily, which should go to a leg D, and then we have to assess because in the buy mode in the Chapman Wave methodology, once again, let me just show you. Identify a low bar from which you can count each successively higher peak, alphabetized sequentially, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. Your objective is to get, there's never an H. Your objective is to get in a buy signal to upgrade to a buy mode 
and then goes to at least a D. If within three bars, that D sees a new leg E to the upside, you can call it, you don't have to actually type it in, but you can call it E slash A, then F slash B, G slash C. That's where you've got to be careful. But D is where you can get the deepest pullback. That's where other things can happen. And your objective is to get to at least a D, and then you use other Chapman wave techniques to continue. Well, what does the D do? Well, let me just do this. What was I looking at earlier on? I had a question about it from one of our Denners. Uh, let me see. I, I think it was, was it Zoom? Yeah, Zoom goes to a peak D, and then within two days goes to an E at 124.05, and then look at that sharp decline. Uh, it's only at a C in the monthly chart, but that's an IPO. And as an IPO, yeah, you can fail for a while before you can get to a D. So that's that's excluded in that particular instance. So let me just go back to our story. And what I want you to say is that within the context of the Dow, as it stands right now, this is nice action. I would put it into the category of daily chart is starting to improve to the point where I can say it's very good. Because the MACD is strong. This is the MACD right here. The stochastic, which is the um, right here, slow stochastic, 94% is fabulous and flat. It means that you're in a buy mode and you're succeeding in, in every pullback is being met with buying. On balance, the relative strength, a little gray line here is at about 52%. That's okay. It's not great. But this on balance volume, either it needs, it's telling us that there's a lot more to go because eventually it gets to where it got over here where it went to 33,272 in the Dow back in, was it early June, beginning of June, where the unbalanced volume was overbought. And look at that sharp pullback to oversold. So all I'm saying is that normally what I'd be looking for is an overbought level in the unbalanced volume to give me a clue to say, now you've got to be really careful. But because it's not participating as it should in the daily chart, it's just one of the things, as there are so many other things in the marketplace to say, who um, is there going to be a clue to tell us that we're going to fail? No, at this particular point, it just treated as what it is. It's one of the four prime uh, indicators I'm using here that is just, it's lagging. All right. But the weekly chart price has had a nice move to the upside. If this week it's able to get to 32,300, the Dow, that in a sense and closes over 32,000. That, in a way, says that weekly chart is just slowly improving. And then you can draw this channel line, and I'll draw it in right here and say, you know what, we can extend the channel line right now. I don't need to consider it, but that level of resistance will be a Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Comes in at about 32,650, 630 points away from where we are. I don't want to talk about it until we start to improve. Okay, I need to do that. Now I'm going to run this very quickly. S&P. Uh, Dow is up 116, S&P is up 4 at 39.66. The S&P has a left side, right side price time match, which goes to probably in the next two days and needs to try to get to the 34, uh, 3406 area. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to do that. Maybe, maybe late Wednesday after the Fed speak, it does something good. Because in the meantime, it's hit the 93 moving average, the 42 moving average of the weekly chart. At 39.95, and it's all there. We're looking at the QQQ, Q, Q, and I'll talk about this when I get back. So I put together with this. I'll be back. 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 I'll be Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, uh, folks. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, could you just keep uh, interspersing for some of us who are day trading, some of us who do short-term trading, or even the long-term trade, just to show us these patterns as they, they work in real time. So here's your peak B in the arch formation. Remember what we are talking about? straight line down and then you arch over and do you test the left side low and how do you test it i'm expecting some backing and filling uh, today and tomorrow going into wednesday and then maybe we start up again by wednesday afternoon or thursday so this is the arch formation <clears throat> this test in the e-mini s and e-mini of the low that was made right there at 9 40 this morning eastern time at 30 9 54 25 that's what we're looking at here. I could do a left side, right side price tie match. Okay, I'll do it right now. I just grabbed that. You don't have to have all these tools that I have in TradeStation. You could very easily uh, just put in a straight line. If you're able to change color fine or, or make it a dash on one side and straight on the other, whatever it is. But I'm looking at the left side, right side price tie match, which says, oops, didn't mean to do that, which says that by right there and I'll draw in the Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line right there and basically what this says is uh, by 1024 this morning let's see if it tests the 3954.25 low just simple as that um, yes what happened earlier on I said in the den earlier when I came in this morning uh, I said at about 8 o'clock, we've just made a peak G slash C is probably a peak G in the 10-minute uh, chart. And now we've made, look, a pullback and then an arch formation. And that failed. And you've gone all the way below the orange 200-period exponential moving average, which was just for three, four bars, resistance early this morning at 4 o'clock. And then it broke above it. And then it, it, for five, five bars, it's been tested on the upside. And that level is at about 39.70 right now. Here we are at 39.63, making yet another arch formation, seeing whether or not we can test successfully without breaking that left side low. Uh, we'll see what happens. Meantime, back at the ranch, let's get, get to our story. So I, I'd said that gold was not acting well today. It was down 10. 
But it's just stuck between the 9 and the 14 period. Look, the pink 9 period moving average is under it in the daily and above is the 1730 level is the uh, 14 period exponential moving average. And it's just stuck. And as long as it's stuck, it means that gold is not using any weakness in the dollar to be able to rally before it held very well when the dollar was screaming to the upside. But it's really struggling because of this chap wave inversion of the, this is both the cup formation, sorry, the arch formation, which tested the left side low. It went under it, and within two bars, it's gone above it. That's the left side low back in the fall of last year, which really was a fall. It went down to 1693.9. This is a continuous contract. That was the week of the 13th of August, screened up to almost 2100, and then came tumbling down. And last week it went down below, it went to the 1678-ish uh, level, and here it is struggling. So that's that's gold. Look at silver. So we, I, I must check because I don't want to talk out of turn. Where should I put it? Where should I put it? I'll use that one then. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got a feeling that we have stopped, been stopped out. Maybe I don't want to talk about it just yet. Out of our, I, we had a re. What I like to do for subscribers is to have a real big choice of prices and and variation and sectors, etc. But if I find a sector is really working well, I don't mind finding a, a trading stock that's very low price that very often performs not as well, but pretty much in line with the major sector that we're looking at because for a single digit price you can get a fantastic percentage gain rather than putting up a lot of money to get a nice gain but usually it's not the same proportion so we've done that and we have a, a gold stock and as i said just uh, maybe i'll let me stretch this out so we're talking apples to apples and so far the stop has held very tight stop we've got the stop it's held I, if gold is going to move, this stock is going to move, and so far, it's just kind of stuck. So silver is acting poorly. It's also made the arch formation. That's the reason why I didn't want to get aggressive at all with the gold, because if you look at the gold stocks, if you look at um, silver in relation to gold in terms of chart pattern, look, this has got a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside in the monthly chart. Uh, it tumbled down from the highs that were made in 2021, around about the 30 level. Uh, and then it came down and rallied quite nicely, and then it failed at a peak B, and now it's going to one to one to the downside. And in fact, it's extended that in a chapter wave parallel one to one extension. It's gone a little bit below it in the monthly chart. Weekly chart's looking good. I, I just don't think it's the place to be for um, other than just quick trades in the gold area at this particular point. There should be a time where it does kick in. Now, a couple of things that we're looking at is high grade copper. High grade copper, as I said to my subscribers, goes uh, with. Wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF, because they are both um, international uh, economic plays. But copper's stalling is way down at the bottom. It's done more than a one to one to the downside from the peak D. Remember the fourth highest peak? That's where other things can happen from 5.06 back in uh, earlier this year, something like March. And then it tumbled all the way through the rectangle support. It went one to one to the downside and then extended that. This is not a good show. And that's the reason why I can't get overly excited. I can't say, hey, this is just a major, whatever you throw your money at, it's going to move to the upside. No, this is really selective for subscribers. We being as selective as we can, um, tightening up stops. I, I just, there's no reason to play any games here. Uh, you want to see what you're in working. If it's working, you can add to that. If it's not working, just step aside. So high-grade copper and wood, the ICS Global Timber and Forestry ETF, W-O-O-D. Don't type it there. Type it in a little rectangle that tells you where you're going. One, two, there it goes. Wood. Had a nice move, a peak A, and now it's fading a little bit. Monthly chart had a peak B, and then it's gone a one to one to the downside. Daily chart peak D in the rectangle plunged. I this is just telling me we're not ready. And I I, I mentioned to my subscribers when I did my overview uh, for for subscribers from opening call uh, about an hour uh, discussion yesterday on the markets, what we're looking at, what's working, what's not working, and I said that. Um, I, I mentioned that I met with someone on Saturday, yeah, Saturday, who really did uh, has been in the retail, the the clothing industry forever. He's been everywhere, but he's also been in the clothing industry for forty something years. He knows all the CEOs of the TJ Maxxes, uh, the the uh, Marshalls, uh, you name it, all over the show. 
And he has 64,000 items in a warehouse that he hasn't been able to sell. When they wanted them, wanted them, and then when he had them already back in February, nothing. And he would be the he would be the one that they go to as soon as they need. And he says they have so much stuff to sell. And you saw that in Target. Look at Target, and that's the reason why I, I I'm I'm very positive on the markets overall. And it's and one of the reasons why uh, my wife and I we took a vacation last week, and we went to um, we went to Manhattan, and we were there an entire week, and we did a lot of things. Really really enjoyed it. Uh, it, was, it got really hot, but we still managed to walk about six miles a day. We really, really did the, the round. And the reason was I wanted to see skyscrapers. I wanted to experience what the big stores are doing. I wanted to see what the little Soho stores are doing. What's working, what's not. I needed to do it because Manhattan, the me forever has been a, a benchmark that is really important in terms of the world economy. I'll be back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Let me just do this because I had a question about it in the den. Uh, CF, which is CF, is uh, CF Industries uh, Holdings, hydrogen, nitrogen products, clean energy, fertilizer, emissions, and abatement. It had a beautiful doji candle peak F at about 112, was it? Uh, I forgot to put that in. 113.49, week of the 15th of April. 113.59, 4, 15, 22. And then it dropped sharply, went down to 70, uh, 79. And um, this is very important because it's in areas that normally in, in economic, when things are economically much better, this is one that really works well. 
So it's been stalled. It hit the 200 period exponential moving average a number of times. Nice, beautiful spacing here. Arch goes to a lowercase h, goes to a lowercase m. And then it rallies sharply. It's up today 3.9% of 332 at 88.13. I like this, but the fact that it made lower lows and lower highs says that until it really gets to the 92 to 95 area, you've got to treat it as just another one of those bounces. I happen to think that the technicals are, are saying, hey, I'm not just another bounce. I'm going to go a little bit higher. But it's also saying that the weekly chart is so – there's so much work to be done to get the, the weekly chart to improve that this has to be treated as a bounce. Now, if it never took out the left side low of 90.50, I think it was 90 <laughs> – 80.35, but instead every pullback made a slightly higher low, that would be a Chapman wave restart and you'd keep getting like an A, then an AB, then without taking out the left side high, and then another A, and then all of a sudden that becomes a C, and that would be, that's called a Chapman wave restart, that, when it goes sideways for a while and doesn't take out the left side low, that can turn into a left side, right side, no, it can turn into horizontal, vertical axis um, compass pattern. In other words, you put your, uh, let's just say that wasn't taken out, you put your the, the, the point of the compass there, you put your arc there, and you draw this circle, and it says you can take in vertical axis as long, in, it'll be in as much in time, not in much in price, as it took in time on the left side. But you can't do that here. Yeah, it's a little bit different pattern, but it is positive, and the, and the nine period finally went above the 14. So I'm liking this action right now. Let me just look at X, which is uh, in the same category, not the same sector exactly, but kind of X is doing nicely. Made a leg C, maybe a peak C today, 20.49. That's US Steel. Let me look at CLF. Uh, yeah, it's a good day today, but it's not all that. You see, this is what I mean, that these things tend to fail. They look great, and then they fail. So it needs a lot more to get going. So, yes, I'm pleased you asked that question because I did want to look at some of these stocks in this particular area. IPI was in a different area, but still within the commodity sector. IPI is in Shepherd Potash, uh, leg A, leg B. So it goes peak A, leg B. Uh, at 42.31, up $1.99. Oh, Yes, a four, almost 5% today at 42.16. Yes, these are all good for just quick day trades or maybe two, three day trades. Um, and then you have to reassess because those weekly charts look terrible. So IPI acting very nicely at 42.29. Treat these as day trades because um, do you see it stretching for 50? Uh, perfect timing. Well, if it's going to do 50, and it's at 42.29 right now. The MACD is good. Stochastic is improving, but it's only at 61%. I would want to see it at 77% right now, going to 80%. And the on balance volume is just really okay. Relative strength has been improving, but the nine way under the 14, that's just a big ask. So what I'm going to say is go step by step. Let's look at the 120 minute chart. It's not going to help me very much because. That made a peak A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, okay, make it real simple. If if IPI is able to close, I need time. So t and I, I don't want time to take sideways. I need time to go up. So if it's able to close, Friday's high was 42.98. 42 if by Wednesday, in other words, today's we've just an hour and a little bit into the first day of the week, within three days, and it's not three days, it's really at 2.30 on, on Wednesday, if IPI is trading anywhere close to, yeah, that's exactly what I say, 43.39 was the high that was made on the 7th of July, if it's trading Anywhere at 43.50, close to 43.50, that'll be very good. Um, but otherwise, it could stall at any moment right now because the nine is under the 14. So it's a really good action on the day, but it is a very oversold stock. There was a stock that was up at the 120 level, and then it plummeted down to 35. I would say 120 down to 35 is a little bit of a hit. So this is just a count. This is a bounce at first. But it's a very nice action today. So a couple of things we need to look at. So I had a quick question about, yeah. 
Uh, yes. So uh, a couple of questions. Oh, you know what? I didn't even do it. Been a while. I almost forgot. Let me go to the YouTube. Any YouTube questions? Uh, tag your YouTube. And I think, uh, uh, yeah, it's great to be back, Pat. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, question came in here. Um, so let me just do this because the questions I was asked while I was away, I, I do have to apologize. When we went to Discord, I just didn't realize that they're all they're, they're, um, that I had people texting me in the Discord. Occasionally, I would see it by action by accident, but I didn't realize until this morning when it was mentioned to me that someone had said, from yesterday's overview, someone had sent me a note that I needed to click on all those icons. So I finally did it. I do. I apologize to everyone. I didn't answer you. You must have thought I was real rude. I just didn't see it. I'm sorry, now I see it, and hopefully I can remember. So how high can a natural gas go? Let's do that, because I want to keep going through these commodities. Natural gas at this particular point is in, oh, I saw this while I was away, and I thought, is this a time to get UNG? And then I, I almost forgot about it. I did forget about it. Leg C up. This is fabulous action. So what we're looking at is, uh, natural gas continuous contract has made this V-shaped recovery. Now, you would never, th I love, the, the market is, one of the reasons why some of us have been in the market so long, and we still love it, we just we just eat it up. I mean, every day there's a challenge. Look at this. In the travel methodology, you expect at least a peak D when you get a buy signal to a buy mode. Well, we got a buy signal to a buy mode in natural gas back in, uh, on the way up going into the high that was made last month, and that was on the way up into uh, April and then May, uh, and it kept going high, and then it went to a leg C, and then it reversed with this horrible red candle, but more than you'd ever expect. It went under what should have been terrific support in November of 2018, and the continuous contract that was at 7.06, it just plunged through that. It went all the way down to the fives. It went down to five, uh, where is that? 5.253, and then to top it off, it went to 5. Oh my. Yes, to top it off, 5.221. It went even lower, and now it's got a huge move back. And that's what happens occasionally with commodities. So I'm anticipating, and then I, and then I got a question saying, uh, Bowser, can natural gas, after going to a peak sea and then plunging so deeply past the, the 40 degree breathing average, back line there, can it still go higher? And I said, you know, with commodities, let's just see how it manages July, because that is very strong. Stochastic's only a little bit deep at 7%. I'll be back in a moment. We'll talk about natural gas. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major your currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, Dollar Yen, Dollar Swiss Franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report, TFNN, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, uh, Basil Chapman back again, I believe. Let me just check. No, no. I don't have any sound. Sound. Oh, there. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman here, and we're looking at uh, the natural gas. Natural gas says, uh, this is a legacy. I do not like peak Ds under the previous peak D because it says it's stalling. It didn't have enough strength. I like it to go C and go smashing through that previous high. That's high. And that's a lot to go through. 1950 at this point is another 950. It's another point higher. So what I'm going to say is looking at looking at natural gas at this particular time, uh, the MACD is strong. So Kazakhs flat at 94%. You li I love that. That's great. On balance volume is not that great. Relative strength has been increasing all the time. This is good. So the question is, where do I see it going? Let's go to UNG. That's your trading vehicle. So UNG is trading leg. Oh, boy. They're going to make it difficult for me. 22.60 to 22.61. So this continues leg B. This is leg C. So leg C in the UNG, which is the United States Natural Gas Fund, trading very nicely. It has the same thing. So I'm going to suggest to you that there's a chance from the speed with which it's moved higher in a buy mode uh, that it can go the target would be, I don't know if it's going to get there because, there we are. And, and on the 8th of June, it went to 20, it went to 32.77. It's trading at 29.15 right now. That's a, that's a lot of points to go. But that monthly chart is suggesting that it's going to go higher at this particular point, but the month is not finished. So I need to see what happens at the very close on Tuesday, the um, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. No, when do we wrap up July? Oh, we wrap it up on this Friday? This Friday, 29th. Well, okay, on the 29th, that's the monthly chart. If the monthly chart is still holding above 28, that's going to be absolutely outstanding action. Not only that, that makes a peak C for the month of July because it hasn't gone extended leg C to extend in the, in, the, uh, in the monthly chart. But this is the fascinating thing. I love this because it's such a challenge. It made a peak G. There's no no notation above G. Peak G at 22.10 back in October of 2021. October the week of the sixth plunges down to 11.69. I would say a 50% haircut is a haircut to December of uh, the week of the 27th of 2021. And then it makes a cup formation in the Chapman wave. This is called the Chapman wave cup and ladle formation. It goes straight through. The left side high of 22.10, and what it says is it should go to at least a D and then come back and test that that breakout of 22.10. Well, this went to D, E, F, and G, and then at uh, 30 in the 32s it plunges down to 18, almost cut in half, well about 40 what six percent or something like that, and then what happens is it comes zooming back. If this takes out that high, it has to be called 
new leg A to the upside because there's no other way I can, there's just no other way I can count it. That, that'll be saying, looking out in 2022, natural gas is just going to be, I'd use the term on fire, but we don't do that here. It will be absolutely a buyer's mecca. In other words, that's the way it would look. And I always say that, but that a leg A after such a big move, a brand new move, and that'll be a new leg D in the monthly chart. Well, the monthly chart has a habit. After all, we're getting close to the buying season for natural gas. Not only that, we know what's happening internationally. It's done this before, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And that was the high back in uh, February of 2014. And then it plunged to lower lows, had another peak D, and then went lower, 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 lower. So it's in this very extended rectangle formation that's trying to form a very extended sideways uh, Chicago pizza. Is that the deep dish pizza? Anyway, it was trying to find this very long bowl formation where the left side down to the base takes a long time and then it flattens out and then it moves to the upside. And that says natural gas. Oh, I'm going to have to do this. I'm just saying this right now because I don't like to, I don't like to, I don't like to talk about things and say, oh, my God, that high that was made back in 2014 at 111.56 when Australia at 29. In my mind, I can say, wow, that's a possibility. But for you out there, that would be just irresponsible on my part. So I am going to say this is fabulous action. It's a leg C. I, I believe you are long. That's why you asked the question. Um, I like this as leg C. It's a 2908 UNG. 2810 to 27. I'd even go to 2650. Could be a support level. The shallower the pullback and the, the stronger the upside move says the greater chance that it should test that high that was made. UNG on the 8th of June had a high of 3277. This was quite a plunge under the 200 period moving average. It went there only about for five sessions and then it says, goodbye, I touched you and now I'm out of here. So I love this chart pattern. Normally, it would stall underneath that peak G and take a little while, maybe in the weekly chart, form a peak A and then a B and then start to scream higher. But the way it looks, natural gas is going to be the place to be in, 20, in the last part of 2022. I can't believe I'm saying that, but that's, that's what the chart looks like. Hope that helped you. Next question is, ooh, what happened there? Oh, next question is, uh, Baba, just let me do this quickly because, you know, I'm not feeling about Chinese stocks. Baba made a peak D at the 200 period exponential moving average at 125. Um, it's making the dreaded H pattern right now. I just don't think this is the place to be. So if you've got puts in that case, I think you mentioned puts. I'm fine with the puts. Yes. Um, next question I had was, can I do these quickly? Yes. AMZ. AMZN. Amazon had a peak C. It is making higher highs and higher lows. I believe it's in a huge consolidation phase, and that phase should say at 121 right now, maybe between 130. If it breaks above 132, that's fantastic action in August. But in the meantime, I think it's stuck between 128-ish, uh, yeah, 128, and support at 114. Uh, next question was Apple. Don't these come out with earnings very soon? Yeah, next week, I think has made a peak E just above the 200, or leg E could be a peak E today, above the 200 period exponential moving average, leg A in the weekly. You see, Apple, I think, is, yes, there are products, but I also think the services area is really where Apple's forte is. That's, I, to me, I haven't looked at it in great detail, but I believe that that's kind of what we could look at and say, it, as long as it has the service product and it's getting an income every month, it has stability so that it could be in a big trading range between there's 153 right now, maybe between 158, 161-ish on the upside, and maybe if it does that, then 145 on the downside. I think it's in a trading band, and I've been saying for a long time I would not be shorting Apple. Um, same way as a uh, question came out about Tesla, would you be shorting Tesla? No, I think that there are certain stocks that have a certain, it's not even a niche because it's, they are such big companies. Um, they have, they have a, 
they have a financial plan that gives them some kind of stability. Uh, Tesla, less so than Apple, but there again, Tesla can always come out with or talk about products that are coming out and it's a fine trade. So Tesla stack would be 850 to 8.50. 850 to 865 on the upside, and I believe 760. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, right, folks. So just to go back to that chart that we were looking at, remember I said you've got a certain amount of time and it should get to the left side low and then test it and you've got two or three bars to get above it. Well, that's exactly what this did. So uh, some of you asked me about my, my uh, intraday uh, trading courses that I, I do every once in a while, once or twice a year. Um, and, I, you know, I, I am thinking about it. Uh, every time we've done, we've had some fantastic moves, more than paid for itself. I don't like to advertise it as, as that because I believe if you understand the technicals and are focusing on the technicals, it means way more than just saying, I'm going to do this because I can get some money out of it. No, I want you to be able to use the pattern. The lowercase h can go to a lowercase m. And not only that, look, I drew in the target. Look, it went right to the target line. And within this, the time period, and that's, that's what I teach. That's what I like to do. So, yeah, I'm thinking about that. I love doing them, but um, there are other obligations as well. So, in the meantime, I'm just, I'll do it live here. In the meantime, just to show you the techniques that we have. So, uh, Tesla stuck at the 200 period moving average at 8.16 and we, a question that I had was, if I can just find it right here, yes, um, within the context of what we're looking at, 
Basil, Basil, you had mentioned that um, the, the uh, semiconductors usually lead us up and down. Where are we in the sem SMHs? So the S. Where did I type? I typed it into the den. Sorry about that. We just a moment to go, and we don't, don't run out of time. Larry Pesaventa comes up, and then you've got great programming for the rest of the day. Larry, I uh, think of Swim, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and then Tom O'Brien. Uh, and don't forget, Tommy starts us off at nine with a great show in market kickoff. So here we are, 223.96 down 2.81. You can expect this but by Tuesday or Wednesday, not Tuesday, maybe by Wednesday afternoon. I want to see leg C in the semiconductor. To me, that would be pretty important. I'd love to see us close. Just unchanged or fresh by a semiconductor. That's say. And every condition, we'll still see the light coming semis. And I think 